What's up YouTube family? This is Rocky here for Rockabye Media, here to review the Feel World F6 Plus on-camera monitor. Now, why would I be reviewing a monitor that's almost two years old and not even in the league of an Atomos series monitor or small HD? Well, it's still relevant. Let's check it out. The F6 Plus is a great on-camera monitor. It has everything you need to get the great shot. It has the histogram, it has the vector scope, it has a touch screen, which enables you to get to some of the options a whole lot faster instead of just scrolling through all of them. It also has an HDMI out, so you can connect another monitor just in case a producer or a director, someone on set needs to see what's happening. And it also has a headphone jack, so you can check your levels at all times. One of the most interesting features about this monitor is you can upload your LUT directly into it via SD card. However, it's not a recorder. It's just a preview. So it'll help you properly expose so you know what you're getting yourself into before you get into post. Now let's go into some of the things that I like. First off, the price. At $199, you get a lot. Like I said, you get the touch screen, you get your histogram, your vector scopes. You get a slew of other options within the menu that you can do to adjust. It's great in sunlight. And a big plus, it takes Sony MPF batteries. So if you got a bunch of them lying around like I did for my lights or anything like that, you plug it in, it locks, you're good to go. It's extremely lightweight, small, it can fit in any bag, and it has a great focus assist feature on there that has helped me out a number of times on shoots when I didn't know when something was in focus or not. To top it off, it comes with its own hot shoe mount. The monitor comes at three access points so you can monitor it in different locations depending on what you're shooting. And I can't say enough, it, it just really helps because if I need to flip the screen over, I can make view adjustments in the settings. And if I'm on a gimbal or something like that, the different access points really come in handy. Now let's get into some of the dislikes. I praised the battery before because Sony MPF batteries can be found anywhere. Some of them are cheap if you get the off-brand ones, but there is a problem. When you turn this monitor off, if you don't take the battery out, the monitor will still drain the power. There's a red light that comes on to let you know, hey, the battery's in there, it's still using power. I don't know why it does that, but you have to remove the battery every time you turn this thing off. But it does save your settings. Another dislike is the sunshade. Don't even bother with it. I don't even know where mine is. And besides, it's great in sunlight. I didn't really need it, so that's, yeah, don't even bother with it. The touch screen is awesome, but it can be a little bit too sensitive. Um, I've bumped into it a couple times on some shoots. Um, didn't really change any settings, but it does get annoying when you have to take the menu back down. So a lot of times, once I set how my how I want it set on my camera, I'll turn the touch screen off, and if I need to make any adjustments, I'll just use the scrolling button at the top. I personally have not used the LUT feature on here, loading it into the monitor just to see what a preview would look like. Um, I currently don't use LUTs that often so it's not a feature that I utilize. Um, any color correction that I do in Resolve is real minor so it's not even a point for me to even use it yet. There are versions if you go on Phil World's website where they do have an SDI in and out. Um, this is just strictly HDMI so if you have a camera that takes an SDI um, you might want to go for one of those. If not, the HDMI is fine. I really haven't had any problems using it um, at all. Um, it's, it's, it's really a good monitor, and if you get the right MPF battery, like this thing will last. I haven't even charged my battery in several months, and it's still going strong. The only thing that I can say that I wish this monitor had would be a recording feature. Like, even if it was through an SD card, like if they just had that one little feature on it, I think this thing would be in competition with some of the bigger name models but as it stands now this monitor is for someone who's on a budget and doesn't need the bells and whistles of a small HD or Atoma series recorder. What are your feelings on the F6 Plus? Leave a comment below. I'd like to know what you think. As always like and subscribe and check me out on Instagram. See you on the next one.